<laughs> you can't eat them. You can't eat it. It's not good. Okay, I'll give you some. We we're going to talk about Bellman equation. Bellman equation is very simple and straightforward. Like when you're doing a complicated problem, you can use Bellman equation to solve those problems. And Bellman equation is basically just Basically, Bellman equation is just to recursively solve a problem. Now let's look at what recursive means. So a very simple example before we get into the math and things like that, let's talk about, for example, you have two strings that are tangled together. You start from the top knot and you try to open one by one until you get to the end of it. That's basically recursion. Uh, you take a very complicated problem and you make it into smaller sub problems. That's going to be easier. For example, you have five factorial, and then you want to know what five factorial is, but you want to solve it recursively. So, if you have a function, if you have a recursive function, your recursive function cannot solve for five factorial. It says, I don't know what 5 factorial is, but I can give you this. 5 factorial is equal to 5 multiplied by 4 factorial. Okay? And then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to keep this 5 here. And I know that 5 is going to be multiplied by whatever 4 factorial is. So I have that there. And then after that, I'm going to say, okay, so give me 4 factorial. What is 4 factorial? And then it is telling me I don't know what 4 factorial is, but I can give you this. 4 factorial is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. And I keep the 4 here, and I say, okay, I know 4. Now um, I know that it is going to be multiplied by 3 factorial. So now I'm asking my function again, tell me what is 3 factorial. It says, I don't know what 3 factorial is, but I can tell you this. It is 3 multiplied by 2 factorial. So now I'm going to keep 3 here. And I know that it's going to be multiplied by whatever 2 factorial is. And then I'm going to say, so what is 2 factorial? says, I don't know what 2 factorial is, but I can tell you this. It is 2 multiplied by 1 factorial. And it will go down, it will continue until it reaches to 0 factorial. I mean, it's already done, but you reach 0, zero factorial and 0 factorial is 1. So at that point, you're done. There is no factorial anymore. Actually, let's just write this down. This is very, doesn't make sense. So you did two factorial and then you have one factorial, which is equal to one multiplied by zero factorial and then zero factorial is equal to one. So here we have two and we have one and this is equal to, this is six, this is 20. You're gonna get 120. So your answer is 120. My recursive function didn't give me the answer right away, but it broke down the problem into smaller problems. And this way it gave me the final answer. After uh, I asked it multiple times, it gave me the final answer. So this is how what recursion is. And Bellman is basically um, solving problems recursively. Okay, now let's look at a more touchable example and then after that we're going to translate it into math again. So for example, you're going into the woods um, and this is the path that you're taking. And this is your house. <laughs> okay, and this is your friend's house. And then you're taking this, this path, you're going all the way up here and you see a beautiful river. And you want to remember where this river is because later on if you want to go to this river or if you want to take your friends to this river, you want to know where it is. 
So you went and you explored and then you find this river. So right now you're standing here. Okay. And then you say, okay, I'm going to pu put X all the way back to my house. So I know where this river is. I'm going to put X's here. So now, next time that I want to go to this place, next time that I want to go to this river, I know that I have to follow these X's so I can reach the river, okay? But next time, you want to go to your friend and you want to take your friend to that river. So you guys come here and you enter the path from here. Now you look around you and you see you have X's both on top and the bottom. Okay, so now how are you going to know which way you have to go? Because there's no arrow. There's nothing that shows you which way you're supposed to go. You just know that you have to follow the X's. But right now you're in the middle of X's. There is 50% chance that it's this way. There is 50% chance that it's the other way. Okay, so this is a problem. You can't you can't mark the road like this because you're not, you, you only be able to figure it out if you start from here. If you start from anywhere else, you're going to be confused. So what is the better way to do? And we're going to do it recursively, okay? Because we are at the river when we're doing this. Now I'm going to say, okay, I don't know. I'm here, okay? I don't know how to get to my house from here right away. But I know if I go one step back, I just need to go this way, okay? And then again, if I go one step back, I need to go this way to reach the river. If I go one step back, I need to go this way to reach the river. Now, if I want to go from my house, I know that um, I have to follow the arrows. Now, even if I want to bring my friends and I'm not starting from the beginning, I still know that I have to go this way because the arrows show me where I should go. And this is, as human being, we understand what arrow means. But again, machines don't understand arrows. They understand math. So how can I show which way my machine is supposed to go? It's by different numbers. And these numbers are gonna be considered as reward for uh, our machine, or for our agent, I should say. And uh, these are going to be like rewards for our agent. So our agent is going to try to um, uh, collect the maximum reward that it can. So that means that it will try to follow the path that has more uh, reward than the other path, right? So um, the way that we are going to do this is to gradually increase the reward when it is getting closer to the river. So I'm gonna start from the river. I'm gonna say, okay, I'll give you 10 when you're here i'll give you if i do 10 all till here again when you're coming from your friend's house there is 10 this way there is 10 the other way so it, it 50 percent it will choose either ways so you don't necessarily reach your goal but then if the numbers are different you're going to follow the path that you're getting more rewards the number is bigger so i'm going to say 10 because it's closest to river and then nine, and then eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay? So now, when I'm at my house, I know that I'm supposed to go this way. If I come from my friend's house, I know that if I reach five first, and I have four here, I have six here, I would rather go this way. So. I will reach the river again. And uh, this is not how Bellman uh, equation is getting calculated. I'm going to put the formula for you there. So it is reward. And then for the next state, it calculates the discount for it as well. We talked about discount before. But generally what it is, is that it will reduce the reward um, from whichever way you're going. Like if, if you're starting from the end and you're going toward your house, and you're discounting, that means that the amount that is closest to your house is lower than the amount that is closest to river. And this is how your agent understand which way to go. So Bellman equation is just this. 